Here's where I got my um, Mustang Contour fan assembly and the bracket kit here, which you need. Bracket kit is almost as much as the fans, but you really need it because you, uh, I'll show you why. I'll walk out here and show you. And I opened it up, so you see what you get here. Got it through uh, late model restoration. Really high quality feeling fans here. This puts out about 3,500 CFM. The bracket kit, you absolutely need it. Right here, are these plugs. You're going to need these. Okay. I like the way they're designed too. Got that little clip right there. Kind of like the fuel inject injector clips on. Uh, my terminator uh, you're gonna have to cut these on I'm gonna have to cut these off and if they're not needed just with a hacksaw saws off whatever you got so in the bracket kit here you get these two pieces right here a bunch of bolts of course your plugs I'm gonna show you this right here and you get the tank. Really nice. You gotta have it. So I'm gonna install it and uh, I'll be right back. Putting a new set of fans on here today. Uh, these are not keeping up with it. It's overheating on me. New water pump. Four or five thermostats. So I got some real heavy duty uh, fans coming in today. and uh, I'll make a little video when I get it done. Here's the uh, current setup I have uh, for my fans here. Push the limits. Mishimoto.com. It's an aluminum radiator. So I got uh, some new fans coming in. And uh, hope to get this thing uh, to stop overheating. These little brackets here, uh, cut these off if they're not needed. There's four of them. And my hacksaw was kind of getting in the way here, so this is how easy it is. Nothing to it. Pretty good. You can file that off if you want to. I don't think I'm going to. There's the other two over here. Right here and here. Not needed. And there's a little tab right here on the top. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and cut this one off while I'm at it. This little piece right here and also you can go on late model restorations uh, website or search search for uh, the contour fan 
installation and you'll find a video on it on this right there that's all there is to it you get your little blade at a hardware store anywhere this is not even that sharp anymore it's been used that's it The brackets fit on here like this, and there's a hole right here, and right here I see that lines up, and what you're going to do, let me figure out which one that is again, okay, it's this one right here, and here. These, uh, Kind of a tight fit on these, so get you a ratchet or whatever you got. Get these in here like this. Just like that. It's uh, 7 sixteenths. There's the other hole over here. Very easy to do. Well, I said it was easy to do. They'll go on there. I couldn't figure this part out when I first opened this kit. So that's why you need to go online and watch the late model installation. Or, here I am. Okay, Got two more over here I want to do that too. Or no, let's go ahead and put this bracket on here. Show you how this works. After you do that, see if you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, just thread these on here like this. Snug them down. You don't have to go real crazy on it. Just about like that. That's all you need. Deep well will work a little better, but this will work. Okay, that's all you need right there. And then, the brackets are the same. There's no top and bottom, they're, they're the same. And let's see, how's this going? Like this. Bear with me here. What the heck am I doing wrong here? There it goes, just like that. And we'll take two more nuts. I'll get it here in a minute. Just like that. Snug it down. You don't have to go real crazy, just about like that. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. Do the same thing on the other side, and there's your bracket. 
Pretty cool. This bracket here, the holes are a little different, but all you do is take your uh, bracket and lay it up on here, and you'll see that this hole right here, coming through the other side, but it'll fit right there. Drop the bolt there, but now I got it. So I'll have to do the same thing with the ratchet and get it through there. And then this one over here. It'll be, this hole right here is lining up. That's all you gotta do is just line it up. Put your bolt through there. Very easy. Only one place to put it over here, right here. Here we go. Right there and right there. Oh, I forgot something here. I'm put a nut on there, kind of like a spacer. Deep well will work. Little wrench, anything you got. I don't know why that's not going on there. Okay, there it goes. That's all you need. Just about like, just about like that. Okay. Throw the bracket on there, like so. Snapped on there. Snug it down. Don't make it go real crazy. Just about like that. It's not going nowhere. Good. Let me get this other one a little better. That's good enough. Got a couple clips like this, and you're going to want to put them right, right here. Got a couple clips here that go at the bottom of the uh, radiator. You got kind of a fat and a skinny. Oh, let's see here. See, it's a little fatter here, a little skinnier here. This fat end will slip. Try the other way and it wasn't going to work. So it's just like this and just like that. 
because this piece right here will slip right down in here. I decided not to use these clips right here. Just a bolt will do. They all lined up perfectly. So a bolt in here. This. A little lock washer on there if you want to. These are the ones that have that nylon thread in there. At a hardware store, you can get them. This is the last one. Didn't have to do any drilling, just put them right in here. Or you can take it a little drill bit and weasel that out. It'll go right in there. It's gonna be good. Okay, I realized that I had these upside down. There's some RYO6-1621. I figured that would be up, but it's not. Makes sense because water would get down here. So, this is what you want. This way. Okay because you have this overflow tank here. This piece right here. And it's gonna go over here. So I gotta figure this out. Okay, um, now I'm gonna start installing the overflow tank. What you're going to do here, you're going to use one of these brackets here. And these, uh, they call it a button mold, I guess. You're going to need an Allen wrench for it. Not like this. And what we're going to do. You're going to install this loosely so you can move it up and down. Just drop this in here. I don't know if you can see this, but I will just, we'll just do it. Put your uh, nut on the other side here.
that's good for now. So I can slide this up and down. And we're going to take this little rod right here. And we're going to, well actually, I'll tell you to install this. Hope you can see this. Go ahead and tighten this one down. Leave that, that one I just put on there, leave it loose. We can tighten this one on down. Okay. And then that rod. Okay. Take this bracket right here. Here. Get your Allen wrench and your number 10. and even here. Snug this one down pretty good if you want to. We're going to leave it loose when we install it over here. Okay, let's take this bracket here. And the idea is it's going to go right. I'm going to remove this. Let's see if right you can see this. I'm going to the late model restoration put this on first, but I'm going to do it this way. Do it any way you want. Okay, we're going to put this on similar to this. This is how it looks. Uh, pretty much ready to go. Ready to go on the radiator. There's, there's the tank on here. This could be straighter. It's up to you. That's the way I did it. It looks pretty straight and level in every way. Um, I spaced it out just a little bit here. Let me get this right. Right here. See just a couple of little washers in there so you might want to do that you'll need to drill a hole see I'm, I it's going to put it right here just get you a little drill bit drill your hole I, I moved it up here so I could get my allen wrench on the back and it's just the way I did it uh, this here down here so you can use some washers and space it out here or whatever you want to do to make it uh, you know straight and level okay now it's ready to go on the car on the uh, radiator I mean and uh, then we'll wire it up and we're almost there and here's the final product <clears throat> getting ready to uh, go back in the car
So I'll start it up, let it run for about half an hour, and uh, we'll see what happens. running for about a half an hour or more. Half a day, not all day, it took me about half a day. Well worth the effort. 